Well, today we're going to talk about transformation because in all honesty, there was something that was given to me a while ago, uh, when we were at the, the, the furry, the furry con and one person in particular I spoke to, he specialized in transformation artwork. And this is one of the stickers he gave me. I don't remember his name. I don't know who he was. So if you recognize the sticker, maybe get him in touch with me because it would be, it would be great. But I got to talk about a bunch of things. Pretty much, how do we go from this to this? This is the difference here. Now, we have real world, we have the avatar state. The transformation is complete. And this has been a learning curve for me, of course. There's been something, ultimately, I've learned every day diving into VR, diving into the furry fandom, it's been an absolute journey. And you know, I've gotten a few comments saying, listen, I don't know if I like this new version. I don't know if I like this idea of you going into more of an avatar or a VTuber or that type of thing. And you know what? It's not going to be every video. Obviously you can see I'm still doing the car vlogs, but I thoroughly enjoy this. This is something that I get to do. It's where we get to sit there and I get to wave my hands around and do silly little things, bob my head back and forth. But this hasn't been without its, uh, <laughs> its missteps or without its unforgivingness of it all. There, it's a total complete change. And it's not just a change for me, it's a change for all of you. And I know, I know sometimes change is difficult to deal with and this is one of those. This has been one of those journeys that I've been sitting here. I've been completely flu flustered at times, especially with trying to get the new equipment working and just trying to do something more for content, trying to create something more. And I think this is where every furry tuber at this point, where they tend to actually drift if they don't have a total sense of what's going on. You know, there is stuff going on in the gaming world that I want to get to and maybe talk about, um, very, very soon. And I, I have some time off coming. I am so excited for time off right now because I'm going to be able to do some more things, actually be able to buckle down, focus on stuff, make more TikToks, make more content and do a lot more things. But ultimately this video was about transformation and that's what it's been. The, it, it, not everyone understands. You're not going to understand, but I truly understand where every furry has gone through now. This has been something that I never thought I would dive into and look where I am now. I sit here as an avatar in, in a world that is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, there, there, there's not much more you can ask for. I have seen some beautiful worlds and I have seen some absolute charming people. And there, the stereotypes of the furry fandom are absolutely not right. Yeah, there is a lot of weird people. There is a lot of weird people out there, but there's a lot of weird people in just life. So this is the difference. You get to actually enjoy yourself doing something more. You get to enjoy yourself in an avatar state. Hey, hell, I pick one that's got wings. What more can a person ask for, right? But this has been something with the channel for a very long time, right? This isn't the true vision that I have in front of you right now. This is just a base model of an avatar. This is getting a mock-up it's getting something more and i hope when that day comes everyone's still here to see it because i i i see something more than just a bird person in front of you i see something more than just what is a human being behind the persona that you see in front of you i see something completely more and i see a future that's very bright that's the difference you know, I, I, I came from a spot where I sat there day after day after day, just driving myself, throwing myself at the wall, throwing spaghetti at the wall, not knowing what's going to stick. And, uh, what's funny is walking through the doors of a furry con and going, this sticks. And what do I do with it now? 
wh where do I go from here? The, the, there's so many endless things. I have seen some absolutely amazing things in VR and it's all thanks to the community that's surrounding us here. And especially thanks to uh, the people that know who belong at the top of center stage. Those people alone have put this forward and I have to thank every last one of you. Everyone that subscribes to the channel, we're, we're going to do a celebration stream this Saturday. Um, I'm, I'm still doing the Friday night stream over on Twitch with VR chat, but then we're, we'll do, we'll probably do a face to face 3000 subscriber special Saturday. I think that's more than fitting at this point because that's where we got to how we got to this point. And now that I have found a whole new meaning in life and a whole new meaning behind everything I do with within VR and within just content creation, I, I there's nothing more than I could ask for. I have all the tools in front of me to make something amazing. And I hope I can very, very soon. I just, obviously I have my own issues. I got to work out because computers are finicky things. And so is apparently VR. VR is one of the most expensive things out there to do. And that's part of it. If I have all the tools in front of me and I let them go to waste now, that's not going to happen. That's not going to happen because you can see right now I'm sitting here in front of you and saying, listen, I am absolutely having a blast doing this type of thing. I love this type of content myself. I cannot get enough of it. And this is something that I am glued watching myself. And I, that's part of it. I've always wanted to make something where I would enjoy the content and that's where I'm at right now. If I enjoy my content, then what, what more can I ask for? I'm just going to throw it out there. If the rest of you enjoy the content, thank you. That's all. That's where we are. And when it comes down to where we're going to be, I mean, we can, the, the world, the, the galaxy at this point, we're in VR. I can go anywhere we want and make a video now but instead i chose a bedroom a simple one because this is where it all starts this is the mind unraveling and the mind taking hold of something more and doing something more and at this point it's more worthwhile to sit there and say listen let's be positive let's motivate ourselves and move forward with something more the days of me sitting here in front of the camera talking about articles, talking about the downfall of gaming companies, you know, those are things that I'm still probably going to talk about now and again, but it's not something that made me happy. That's something that I wish to see change in the marketplace. And what more of a change is there in the marketplace than to sit there and realize that you have your own uniqueness, your own avatar that you can sit there and do something with. How is this not more important than sitting there following a corporation, following their greed of a IP that then they dilute and ruin with throwing in so many more things in there, telling the viewer or telling the people, this is what they have to watch. This is what the gamers have to play. And if they don't, it's the gamer's fault why the game fails. No, right now, sure, blame me if this channel tanks, if this channel goes under, if things go awry. But you know what? At the end of the day, I still have my personality and I can sit here and do what I want. And those that are willing to listen, thank you. Because that's all I ask for. I don't ask, you know, it's great when people support the channel, but I don't ask of it a lot. I don't ask of it that much, mainly because I have a full-time job right now. But that full-time job isn't forever. It's always project to project and it can dry up the next day. And then I go back to just living on the lamb, trying to make ends meet, trying to do the YouTube videos. But this isn't my life. This is my hobby. 
and YouTube has always been a hobby, and now the furry fandom is just part of that hobby, right? I don't do this full time. People out there, they go, oh, you know what? You, you used to be good. You used, you've really fallen off. I really enjoyed the old Cinder Shadow. Well, I, I, I'm glad and I thank you for that. But do you know what the old Cinder Shadow was? Were you there for the Magic the Gathering streams when I sat there day in, day out, building decks, trying to do something more with it, trying to gain any sort of recognition in a space that was very limited in that sense? Now I just sit here and I go, I'm a bird. I get to sit here and have fun and I get to laugh at myself. I get to laugh at goofy things that I do. I get to do things more. I get to bob my head back and forth and watch these eggs, these eggs, these ears wiggle to and fro. That, to me, it's something that I thoroughly enjoy. And it's been, like I said, a complete journey over on Twitch, over my Discord. If you haven't signed up into the Discord, go, go jump into the Discord because there's a lot of things going on in there lately. There, there, there's a lot of activity lately. Back when I did Magic the Gathering, we had quite a bit of activity in the Discord, but it wasn't it wasn't like what it is now. Now it's a lot more different. You know, I have there, there's a lot of new people that I've gained from many other streamers and many other platforms and many other people that I've met. I have made so many new friends, and I have to say, it, every single one of them is unique. And every time I see one in VR, I sit there and I, I, I am amazed at how vivid their avatar is and how fluid they can sit there and be something more of themselves. And that's where I'm at right now. That's where it is. This is the transformation, right? The Phoenix, the Phoenix. This is something that I've always wrote home about. Always having something about that. You know, the rebirth, regrowth. The, the rising from the ashes, well, I was down and out. I was in a very dark place. And I have risen higher than I've ever been at this point. And the the passion behind this, you know, the, the just having a passion to just sit here and talk in front of a camera and to talk in an avatar state, I, I'm giddy. I, it's just so silly and so much fun. And that's the difference. I'm having a ton of fun. And if you don't like a person being happy and having fun, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but there, there, there's an ocean over there right now. We could go swim in it. Right? I could go out that door right now and we can go swim in the ocean. But that's where, where we're at right now. What do you want more? What more can a person ask for <laughs> oh i tell you one of these days i'm just going to completely lose my mind and when that happens you're all going to be here to see it but until then let's enjoy the ride let's go off the deep end and let's dive deep into my psyche and into whatever the world is going to hold for us very soon. Anyway, have yourselves a great day. I am your proud Canadian Phoenix Cinder Shadow. I'm signing off here. And don't forget to like and subscribe.